hammer gang because we always hit a nail on the head so check this out my miami hurricane fans it's friday as you all already know game one happened last night the miami hurricanes defeated uab 31 to 14. now i gotta be honest with you canes i gotta be honest with you man i'm having mixed feelings about this game last night but we're gonna go through some of the stats and some of the highlights from this game now cameron harris cameron harris running the ball was phenomenal man i'm talking about 134 yards dude was on fire man dude was on fire he also had four receptions now unfortunately unfortunately for cameron harrison injuries cameron suffered a knee injury last night right now we don't know the extent of this injury so we're gonna be looking to see what's gonna happen with that hopefully it's nothing hopefully you know he'll be back next week it is what it is though but did sustain a knee injury now you would think running back number two was Derek King because Derek King also had I think 83 yards off of 12 rushing. And he also had a um, 12 yard touchdown by the way, which he he had a throwing touchdown and a running touchdown, which extends his league um, touchdown record for 16 now. So 16 straight games he scored a touchdown by throwing and a touchdown by rushing. Now, De'Eric King did have 141 yards passing. To me, that's a little bit, um, you know, up for, up for debate right now because a lot of passes was overthrown. A couple deep balls was overthrown. A couple passes that, like a touchdown in the end zone, was um, basically overthrown also. So, a lot of passes was dropped or not, you know, put in the proper place for the receiver to make a catch. So, we, I think as a team, we're going to have to look into that and make sure, you know, we make the, the proper fixes or, you know, adjustments to make sure that, you know, this doesn't happen. Because as you see in this game, Miami should have absolutely obliterated um, UAB, but we did not. It is what it is, but De'Ara Keene need to work on some passing. Now, Miami did bring out the new turn, the new um, touchdown rings which by the way it says on the fist um the crib which is if you guys already know this off season it's all been about making the u great again making miami great again turn up for the crib put on for your city so that's a great theme for the rings you know we've seen a couple guys you know put on the ring last night miami did score you know a couple touchdowns here and there so you know and also the kicker the kicker he was one for one last night from a 25 yard for a 25 yard field goal so that's a good news you know we had our woes kicking the field the field goals last season but you know he did have a 25 yard field goal made so let's hope it you know continues that way don cheney and jalen knight they had a phenomenal night now they both had runs where they had like you know chunk yard plays which was amazing to see that you know these two will most more likely step up with Cameron um, Harris injury if Cameron Harris is out for you know extended time or you know short time or whatever. We can depend on Don Chaney and Jalen Knight. They're showing lots of talent and lots of um, you know assertiveness. Um, Robert ha Robert Burns, a name that you guys probably haven't heard in a while. Robert Burns, um, right now he's fourth on the depth chart for running backs. He did come in late in the game for four rush for um, for four attempts, and I think he racked up 10 yards. So, you know, it, it'll be more more play time for him in the future. You know, depending on how Don and Cheney, Don Cheney and um, Jalen Knight are doing, and if Cameron Harris have a quick recovery. Now. I am kind of disappointed because Miami do have a new turnover chain and unfortunately last night I did not get to see this new turnover chain so right now I'm still 
anxious to see what this turnover chain is and I don't care what you say the turnover chain is not going nowhere so don't come telling me we don't care about the chain I understand you don't care about the chain but I do I care about the chain I want to see the chain god damn it <laughs> I want to see it I didn't get to see it last night I'm mad I'm pissed now there was an opportunity for us to get the chain out there but unfortunately the ball was kicked out of bounds off of a fumble so it is what it is but we did give up a pumba ourselves, which UAB did recover because on the kickoff, well, punt, on a punt, um, Mark Pope muffed the punt. Well he, well, he didn't muff. He took off running, and he got tackled, fumbled the ball, UAB recovered. We didn't get a turnover, guys. The turnover was 1-0. to zero. UAB came away with a turnover. Miami didn't, but we still won the game 31 to uh, 14. Now take from the game what you want, but me, I see Miami needs a lot of work. You got to keep in mind, this is UAB. This is not a power five team. So for us not to, you know, demolish them or struggle a little bit or, you know, have sloppy starts, we cannot have sloppy starts against power five team. Next game on the list, Louisville. The mental mistakes that we made tonight, has got to stop so moving forward you know anyway guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you already know if you haven't already subscribed then you know let's get it man go canes go canes go canes one and old baby Wildin out, wrecking shit, pulling up just to cause hell. Can't go in the fans, yeah, we die hard. Can't y'all tell? Don't use the worldwide, go from Miami out to cause mail.